dreaming about this since I was a little girl. <laughs> say it again, Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, say it again. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, my very own Santa baby. <laughs> okay, where's your sleigh? Introduce me to the reindeer. Fly me back to my place. We can land on the roof and go down the chimney together. <laughs> you do know I'm not the real Santa, right? Just tempt Santa and make a few bucks. This is just a costume. Okay, sh you're ruining the fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> What a shame that Christmas comes but once a year. <laughs> Sweetheart, you keep kissing me like this, you can have me all year round. Mm -hmm. Oh, yay, Christmas in July. <gasps> oh, I always wondered what that meant. Mm. That is, of course, if you last that long. I mean, I thought it was bad before when I couldn't even keep a plant alive, but lately I can't keep my lovers alive either. Oh, not this again. I'm indestructible. Hey, come on. Who's twisted enough to hurt Santa? Oh. Honey, we have plenty of time before mass starts. What would you like to do? I've already fallen into my trap. What does that mean? Who wants to open their Christmas present? you done? You'll see. Come on. <laughs> oh, I did enjoy that. <laughs> Let's rewind time and make them do it all over again, shall we? <laughs> Everything I thought I hoped was true is wrong. Nancy. To hell with you, Louise. It's time to bring another character into this scenario. Fit in a fancy is not what you think. Oh, I am not blind, Louise. Damn you! What is going on here? Or what does it look like? Louise is cheating on me with my own sister. It's Christmas Eve. This is a time for joy and for miracles. Yeah. Well, I could lose my little boy, and I could lose the man that I love tonight. Let's try not to think that way, huh? It's Christmas. We're here to celebrate the birth of our Savior. And of all nights, this is the most important night to hold on to your faith. I want to. It's just lies. He thinks I'm heartless, but all the time, everything I do, I'm trying to do for him. I can't tell him that little Ethan is Jonathan's liver donor. I can't tell him that his son is sick. I can't lean on the man that I love for support. I know this is very hard, Mia, but you're strong. You're stronger than you think. And you're right. You can't tell Ethan that well, Ethan is his son. Gwen and Rebecca have made sure of that. If you do... I know. We're all gonna die. Mama, I feel like I'm already dying. Is Teresa meeting you here for Mass? I have no idea what Teresa's doing. Maybe she found a before Christmas sale or something. I haven't seen her much since the operation. I mean, can you imagine that? I mean, she is my fiance, and I'm going through one of the worst times of my life, and she's nowhere to be found when I need her. I'm so sorry. Really are with pretty? No, no, not at all. Ugh, Louise. I don't see grandfather. What? Shouldn't he be here with a machine gun trying to force you to make love oh, to pretty fancy. again? Come on, fancy. Save the gentle speech for the next fool, Louise. That would be you, pretty. When he cheats on you, I hope it hurts. No, you've got it Enough. all wrong. You're... I can't hear any more of your lies, Louise. I've heard too many of them already. I'm done. I will never forgive you for this, so just 
Save your breath. No, 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 no. Fancy, fancy. Fancy, please. Just listen to Fancy. The games begin, I say. <laughs> Sheridan and Pretty will be at each other's throats any time now, vying for our Latin Lothario's affections. <laughs> I think the dark side will reward me for this, don't you? They'll be sending Endora back soon, don't you think? I'm not going in there. with Gwen. And they look close. Well, Teresa, it's obvious she's using their son's illness to try to win him back. And she forced me to confirm her lie that I sent little Ethan away for Christmas. I would never do that. Hmm. Hopefully she hasn't caused permanent damage to our relationship. What? Teresa, you can't have him back. Mom, I have to tell him the truth. It's impossible. Why don't you go speak with Father Monica, huh? Maybe that'll help you feel better. Go to confession. Okay. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good idea. Just come up away, please! He's gone, Luis. I should go after her. No, bad idea. Why? Because she's so angry. She won't talk to you. And even if she does, she'll only berate you. We need to focus on finding Marty because he is out there somewhere and he could be hurt. I want him back. I want him back now. Mother, um, I really can't talk right now. We're in church waiting for Mass to begin. No, there has not been a change in Jonathan's condition. But Ethan is here. Surprisingly enough, Teresa's not. I know I could be happy about that, but it's hard to be happy about anything when my son is in an incubator fighting for his life. You know, I may wind up with Ethan, and that would be wonderful. But I can't lose another child, Mother. I, I, I just can't. I'm here. I'm praying for Jonathan and for Ethan. Maybe God will let me keep them both. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I'll cut right to the chase. I'm guilty of self-righteous anger towards the woman that I love, Teresa. I know I'm not supposed to feel that way, but she has been very selfish lately. You're aware of what I'm going through right now with my baby, and her lack of support at this time has been mind-boggling to me. And I'm not the only one that she's hurt. She doesn't seem to give damn about my son or her own son. She sent him away at Christmas time. Just sent him away. And I used to think that we had the same values when it came to family. And I'm beginning to think I was wrong. And that the only person that Teresa cares about is herself. Ho, ho, ho! Where's my reindeer, my little vixen? No peeking, Santa. I'm almost ready. Santa wants his Christmas present now. Okay. What do you think? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Looks like Santa's gotten his Christmas stocking this year. You ready to trim my tree? Oh, oh, oh. So, am I on your good list or your bad list? Bad. Very, very bad. Your name is on the top of my naughty list. Oh, so what are you going to put in my stocking? Coal? Oh, that's not nearly naughty enough. I've been so bad, I need to be punished. Maybe later, Santa would like to be punished too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes! Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas to all and to me. A good night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is wrong with the dark side? 
I can't even begin to answer that question. And Dora should be home by now. I've torn Louise and Fancy apart on Christmas Eve. So, so why haven't those demons sent my daughter back? I wait and I wait for what? Butt kiss. Okay, so then you are admitting that you have completely destroyed two happy people for nothing. Certainly not. I believe that every little bit of evil added to this world will bring in Dora one step closer to me. So you say, but it's not working, Tabitha. You keep hurting people and she's not back. And neither is Miguel. I must be doing something wrong. Everything you do is wrong. I have a feeling that no matter what you do, Miguel and Endora are gone forever. You are really something, you know that? I've never... God, I, I didn't think anything like this was possible. You sure your boyfriend didn't simply keel over from heart attacks? Oh, you say the sweetest things. Understand. It's uh, it's a house, mm -hmm. and these are the plans of the house that I'm going to build you. Mm -hmm. It's it's not going to be very big, but I think it's the perfect house for us. It's the house that that you deserve. That we will live in once we are married. We will raise our children. In. What a special man you. You know, we can go over the plans later if you want. I don't care. I don't care what it looks like. Merry Christmas. You always think you're right about everything, Tabitha, but you're not about this. Okay? Over and over and over and over, you just keep causing evil and, and hurting people and nothing is happening. The dark side is fooling you, Tabitha. All these lives are going to be destroyed for nothing. And we're never going to see Miguel and Endora again. Will you stop saying that? We will. Endora is my life. I can't live without her. I've already lost Timmy. Timmy. What about him? He came to see me. I, I, I thought it was Endora coming home, but it was Timmy on a visit from the bad place. Hell is the bad place. Yeah, well, as you say. Anyway, he came to warn me. About what? Uh, about, about doing evil. He said that it was the wrong way to go about getting Endora back. I could have told you that. He said that said only goodness and kindness would bring my little demon back. My God, and you didn't do anything about it? Timmy, you came back from the dead, and he gave you a message, and you ignored it? Oh, really, Kay? Rising from the dead is a simple parlor trick where I come from. What are we waiting for? Come on, we have got to start good right now. Oh, Timmy, you wouldn't steer me wrong on this, would you? You're not trying to take advantage of me to... To stop me doing evil? Is this really going to bring Endora back? I refuse to let Luis Lopez Butch Gerald ruin my Christmas. I'm done with it. Good. It's good. Now I can start the new year with a clean slate. Oh, why, God? How could he do this to me? How could I 
He's so wrong about the method. Sheridan, I really want Marty to come home too, but I just really don't know what to do anymore. At least if I find Fancy, I can try and make things right with her. No, no, not tonight, you don't. You saw that bloody jacket in the basement. Our son could be hurt or worse. Yeah, or it could just be another one of Alistair's tricks. Sheridan, there is nothing more I can do, okay? Me staying here is not going to help us find Marty, okay? Besides, Alistair... He's having a grand old time of making fools of us. I will come back tomorrow. No, first. now! I do not know what else to do, okay? If you have some idea of how we can find Marty, I would really love to hear it. Well, we can... We can turn on the computer. And do what? Google ourselves? Sheridan, your father is holding all of the cards right now. Now listen to me. I swear to you, I will do everything in my power to help find Marty. Right now, there's nothing I can do, okay? I know that I can try and make things right with Fancy, and I'm not going to lose her over this nonsense with Pretty. Sorry. I know that came out wrong. You know what I mean? Just have no idea how we were kissing just now. You don't need to apologize. Thank you. I'm going to go look for Fancy, okay? Good night. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ouch. Played the Marty card and lost. I guess Fancy trumped you. Hey, I do not play games with my son. Fancy will not get Louise. I guarantee it. Honestly, Father, I don't know if I can get past this. I had no idea that Teresa could be so self-centered. And maybe this generous, beautiful woman that I fell in love with was just a facade. Maybe I was wrong to think I could spend my life with her. Oh, Neha, what is it? Everything I feared, it's it's come true. I've lost him, Mama. I've lost Ethan. It's over. It's, it's all gone. All my dreams. It, I just died. What's killing me, Father, is that despite everything that's happened, I still love her. I still believe that she's the woman I'm destined to be with. I love Teresa so much, that's why I need to understand why she's behaving like this, and I need to know the reason behind it, because there has to be one. All I know is we've got to get back to where we were. Because I don't want to lose her. I can't lose her. Okay, let's do what Timmy says and see what happens. Let's be good. No, that's funny coming from you. What do you have to lose? My head to start with. Well, if Timmy's right and Dora could be home for Christmas. Oh, don't stop. Oh, you, she could be in your arms. You could be reading her autopsy reports as she falls asleep tonight. <laughs> she does love those autopsy reports. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Great. Christmas starts right now. <laughs> This is the best Christmas I've ever had. I'm glad we're here at church because I want to thank God for all my blessings. Are you starting to cry a little? Mm, I just might. I love you. You made a new man out of me. Do you remember last Christmas? I think I loved you even then. I think I loved you too, but I wasn't ready to admit it. You were, that you were too young for me. Well, then you should thank God that I changed your mind. I think I'll do that. <laughs> Please, Lord. I know I'm not a very good person, but I do try. Help me get through this. Help me 
love Luis much. I know it's not much of a prayer, but it's all I've got. He's broken my heart, Lord, and it hurts so much. I don't know what happened. I mean, how could I be so wrong about a man? I feel so stupid. I thought Luis loved me, too. I do love you. More every time I see you. Ugh. Look at Luis and Nancy. They're miserable. Mm, I did a peachy job, didn't I? Yeah, well, you've switched sides, remember? They have no idea that it was your magic that caused him to, to kiss pretty. And now Fancy's heartbroken and she's never going to trust him again. Oh, she'll thank me. Men are so undependable. No, no. We're going to help them. Let's get them back together. Yeah, but Kate, they're in church. My magic doesn't work in church. Evil magic doesn't. But indoors, good magic always worked in church just fine. Well... If this house blows up with you and me in it, don't say I didn't warn you. But if there's a chance this will bring Endora back, I will give it a go. Speed it up! It's goodness, Kay. Evil can be done in a blink of an eye, but goodness takes time. I, I want to be with little Ethan right now. Oh, did I so good? Stay. Please. This is God's house. It's Christmas. It's time for miracles. I don't think I'm getting my Christmas miracle tonight. Did I say this is the night that we all received the biggest miracle of all? God loved us so much that he sent his only son to earth. And then he watched him die on that cross for our sins. Do you really think that a God that loves you that much is not going to answer your prayers? What's your Christmas wish? I do. I want Lynn Lee to be well. And I want Ethan to love me again. <laughs> In life, we don't always get what we want, Teresa. Sometimes it's, you just gotta think what's most important to you. So choose, Teresa. Which one will it be? <laughs> Is there any eggnog in this eggnog? It's almost straight booze. Oh, yeah. See, a little white speck? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, well, whatever's in here is killer. Mm, it's my secret recipe. I make it every Christmas Eve. <laughs> You're from one of those families that opens their presents on Christmas Eve, right? Because one glass of that, and you might not wake up till the 26th. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Oh, I like you too. A lot. Can I tell you something? Anything. You are the real gift of Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've given me my self-confidence back. You know, all this... Death has really started to make me doubt my natural instincts until tonight. Hmm. I am going to leave you the biggest plate of cookies on the fireplace that you have ever seen. <laughs> Doing great. And Dora would be so proud. Oh, let's hope so. I don't imagine my previous tenants in the basement would be too pleased. Eavesdropping on my private prayers. Fancy, I love you. I do. I, I know it sounds nuts, but I don't know how I ended up kissing pretty tonight. She's the only woman for me. I love you. Please believe me. Get that thing to hurry up. Patience, dear. Five, four, three, two, one. Icky goodness. I love you so much, it hurts. I love you too. 
Believe me, I never want to hurt you. Never, ever. I promise you, I'll never hurt you again. Ah, there, now, doesn't that feel good? What do you mean, that warm, oozy feeling? Personally, I prefer the sharp tang of wickedness. Let's just hope it works. Because I would hate to ruin my reputation for nothing. Yeah, well, good is always the best thing, Tabitha, especially on Christmas Eve. We'll soon see, won't we? Did the hospital call about Jonathan? Not yet. Hey, Merry Christmas, you two. We're praying for Jonathan. Thank you. Thanks. Christmas every day with you. <laughs> I wish I could join Ethan. There's no point. He doesn't want me to. I heard him talking to Father Lon again. It's over. You seem so far away. Sorry, I was just thinking about Teresa. Wherever she may be. Can't help it. It's Christmas. Despite everything that's happened, I still want to be with her. It kills me not to spend Christmas with the woman that I love, Gwen. Why, oh, why did you talk me into this nonsense? The recent fancy are back together, and there is no sign of Endora and Miguel. Good did nothing. Timmy was wrong. Well, don't give up hope. You're the one who said good took a while. Good was a flop. And by now, the dark side's probably plotting my punishment. Oh. Maybe you're right, Kay. Maybe they'll never come home. Get here. I'm sorry, Mama. I, I gotta go. This is too painful. Teresa, please, Mika. It's Christmas Eve. Not for me. I want to go to the hospital. I want to be with my son. You know, Mama, I did pray for my Christmas miracle, but it didn't come true. What is it? It's a text message. I've got to call the hospital. Something must be wrong with little Ethan. Just by staying alive, you have renewed my faith in Santa Claus. I should make a toast. To Santa Claus. May he live forever and bring joy and peace to all the bad little girls like me. <laughs> hmm. Do you want some more? Oh, my God. Santa? Santa? Okay, if this is a joke, it is in very poor taste. Santa! Oh! Oh, my God, no! Not Santa Claus, too! Oh, oh it's going to bring toys to all the good little girls and boys. Oh, oh God, i got to do something. What am I going to... my resume. But I guess I'm just going to have to get used to this. 
You know? I mean, what's a girl gonna do? Sleep alone? Yeah, I don't think so. No. I don't understand. Why am I in tab with this kitchen? Where have I been? I can't remember. I told you, I didn't hear anything. My good was a total waste of time and... Ah! Ah! Get out of here! Oh, oh. oh. oh Endora, sweet pea. I missed you so much. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> Oh, I haven't been happier in my whole life. You just made my day. I love you. <laughs> my Christmas wish came true. You're here. I'll always be here. I'm never going to leave you again. Thank you. You were right. Thank you for helping me bring my baby home. <laughs> Lipstick. <laughs> Christmas and I still don't know where my son is. Same star. Wishing to come home. I can't keep doing this to myself. I don't even know myself anymore. Next year has to be different. It has to be. I just. I, I just. I, I hope. No, I, I pray. I. Dear God, I pray. You bring my son home. I pray that Luis and Marty and I are a family the way that we are supposed to be. Please. Oh, 
wasting my breath. No one's even listening. At least did you forget something? Christmas, Mommy. Yes, this is Teresa Crane. Can you please tell me what's wrong with my son? No. Uh-huh. Merry Christmas to you, too. It's better, Mama. Oh, good. Oh, fever broke and he's responding to the medication. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Thank you, God. That's what I prayed for, Mama. I prayed for my baby. <laughs> God answered your prayers. He <laughs> did. Okay. You know, maybe if he uh, heard my wish for little Ethan, maybe I don't know. He'll hear my wish for Ethan. Maybe it won't be too late. You know. I'm gonna share. Christmas Mass with the man that I love. I'm going to tell him how much I love him right now. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let heaven songs employ from fields and floods, from chills and rains. Oh my god. Oh, oh what? It's from the doctor. He uh says the blood test results came back normal. Which means he's accepting the liver, he's gonna be fine. Oh, <laughs> oh god, it's a Christmas miracle. So much. <sighs> it's too late. I've lost Ethan to Gwen. 